everyone, it's Jayma Malmi, and I have a new Cricut layout to show you. This is, once again, from the Complete Creativity Collection from Close to My Heart, and um, I have taken this adventure layout and altered it and turned it into a two-page layout. So I wanted to show you real quick what the original looked like. So when you open up the file, in Cricut Design Space, this is what it looks like. But with some help from a fellow consultant, Lori Leverson, I changed it to look like this and be a two-page layout. And she had the brilliant idea of adding these mountains in the background, which are from one of Close to My Heart's other um, Cricut collections. And then just move some things around. I altered it a bit from what she did. Um, the I added skiing here, skiing adventure, because I'm gonna be doing some ski pictures. And I added some skis here, which are also from another Cricut collection. And this says family time. It already said family time in the layout, but I changed it um, to match the font for skiing. So I actually ended up making my own. I um, contoured family time out of the banner that already existed and then retyped it and sliced it back into this banner and sliced this into the banner too to do the same thing. So I changed the colors because these are the colors that go with my photos. Lots of different greens here and a lot of them what was handy is this uh, evergreen color. The top uh, like highlight of that tree is just the back side of evergreen because it, on Close to My Heart's cardstock there's a lighter color a lighter shade of the same color on the back of every cardstock, which is handy. I love all these little stars that are in the background, and I saved all of those stars that cut out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just get to creating, and I will explain more as I go, and I hope that you enjoy. So I'm gonna start out with the bigger pieces, and here I've got the mountain that I'm gluing together. And then I'm going to glue that star paper onto the background. I believe the colors I have here are mink for the base gray page, the real light gray. And then the blue is actually not a close to my heart color. It's something I've had in my stash because I um, close to my heart doesn't have a color exactly the same blue that I wanted to use. But I'm using my tape runner to glue the big parts and then I'm using liquid glue to get in between all the stars. And I apologize that this is cut off a little bit at the bottom. It is for a lot of the video. I kind of changed my video setup and forgot that it's now up higher on my desk than it was. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that, but I will make sure to remember next time. Um, you can see up above, I've got all of my little pieces that I cut out all grouped together by color and it was helpful to do that to know where the colors are that I want to grab um, and these little photo mats you can see a little stitching around them they take quite a while to cut um, but that stitching look detail around the, the edges is so cool these mats fit a two by or sorry a three by four photo and that's the photos that I'm going to be using and um, I'm adding five extra photos plus a hidden journaling spot by using a few flip flaps as well. So I'll be showing you that at the end. I'm putting some of the detailed cuts together now and um, starting with the leaves. And I'm using the Tombow Mono Glue in the green bottle, which I do really love this glue. It's got a great consistency. Um, sometimes it's not great for the real detailed cuts though. If it oozes out, it's a little tacky because it's a repositionable glue. Um, if you let it dry, it's repositionable and it glues tacky. So if it oozes out, that's not great. But um, I do use it a couple times here and then I'm going to be switching to a few other types of glues as well. I've found that I like using a glue pin best for the real intricate cuts. And um, so I'll be using that later on in this video. But just do what works for you. 
I've kind of gone through phases of what I like to use. I liked liquid glass for a while and I still use it sometimes. I do like this glue a lot. Um, I like the glue pin as well. Close to my heart used to have a glue pin and I'm, that's what I use here, but we don't have it anymore because the manufacturer went out of business or stopped offering it or something. Um, but Zig has a two-way glue pin still that's available for fairly inexpensively on Amazon. So I've got that first cluster done, and then I'm going to start gluing down these little photo mats and um, all of the other pieces. I'm not going to glue everything down on camera because you saw me do this much. You don't need to watch the rest of it. It's just kind of tedious, and um, gluing everything down actually takes quite some time. There are so many pieces to this layout that you do need to have a little bit of patience. It's fun. It was quite relaxing for me, but... Um, I did this in stages. I cut everything out in one night and then I put everything together another night and then I actually did all the um, flip-flap stuff at the end of this video that I'll show you another night. So it did take me quite a while to put together. It was very fun though and I think the final result is definitely worth the effort and the time that it took because this is just such a stunning layout. I'm if you watch my videos, you know how obsessed I am with the um, Complete Creativity Collection. And there's just so much versatility to it, so many amazing um, images and cuts in it. And I love that everything's pre-designed, but yet you can customize it as well. And in this case, take a one-page layout and make it into a two-page layout. And um, really cool designs. So... Um, yeah, if you are interested in looking into this collection, um, I'll have my Cricut affiliate link below. This is only available through Close to My Heart Consultants, and so my affiliate link is a Close to My Heart affiliate link. And you can purchase this um, Cricut collection as well as Close to My Heart's other Cricut collections. There are a whole bunch of them, and they are all fabulous. Um, if you have Cricut Access... The older Cricut collections are available through Access, and you can also purchase the Access subscription through my affiliate link as well, as well as anything else from Cricut. Anything Cricut is available through my affiliate link. It's just that since it's a close to my heart affiliate link, um, you can get this collection only through consultants right now. And it's only $29.95. I mean, it's super reasonable for how much you get in it, so... Um, I know a lot of you have already purchased, and thank you very much, and I know you are not disappointed. I also share all of my files with those who purchase this collection from me. Now, this file for this layout I will share in the comments below because it was originally shared from Lori Leverson, and she was so generous to share her file, and um, I made my tweaks to it, but I would like to... Um, pass on the file to anyone else who would like it as well. So I'll have that linked below. So here I am gluing some more and this is where I'm using the glue pen and um, the skis there are going to overlap the picture on the right a little bit. So I chose a picture that has a little bit of white space over on the side. And the far right and the far left photos are glued on the mats. The other photos or the other mats are going to have flip flops on them. So I didn't glue those ones down yet. Here are the little skis. They are so cute. And now I'm putting the flip flops together. Now I have a tutorial, a video tutorial on how to do flip flaps and so I will link that below I'm not going to slow down and really explain how I'm doing it because I have done that already but just keep in mind the top photo has to be right side up and then when you flip it up the other photo that's underneath it needs to be upside down so that when you flip it it's right side up so just keep that in mind I am doing something a little different here though I am putting the flip flaps directly onto the paper layout rather than the page protector like I've done before. So I'm putting the adhesive strip 
underneath the photo that's glued onto the mat. So that first one, I kind of slipped the um, flap under the photo after I glued the photo down. And then I realized, oh, I need to, I'm going to put the flip flap down first here so that it's in place. And then I'm gluing the photo on top of that. And that way, the glue and that little strip are hidden underneath the photo. So I'm going to show you at the end of this photo how I cut cut some strips in my actual page protector so that the flip flap can go through and then still flip up because if I if I don't cut strips in them you're not going to be able to flip up the flip flap if it's glued directly to the layout so I'll show you how I'm going to do that of course none of my layouts are complete without some shimmer brush and bling so I'm adding shimmer brush here and I am going to be adding some silver glitter rhinestones off camera as well I, those were an afterthought but I'm just doing this I, I did this very quickly I did it very um like I wasn't super careful just to make sure I got it on those little highlight parts but that's mainly what I did and um and the hearts and some of the leaves so here's a close-up you'll be able to see that shimmer it's so pretty I just love the shimmer brush that's a clear shimmer brush and I highly recommend picking that up if you don't have it already because it's awesome. So off camera, I made a journaling card, which is going to be hidden under that middle photo. And here is where I am putting the layouts in the page protectors. I'm going to show you how I made the flip flap contraption work. So these are just regular top loading page protectors. They are close to my heart's page protectors, which are very high quality. A thick plastic and so I'm pulling this out I'm flipping them up and I'm putting a ruler you can use anything you want I'm using a ruler just because that's going to help me line things up and keep the uh, the razor blade from going through my layout so I'm slipping it back in and I'm I'm so sorry my head's in the way but I had to get right on top I'm taking the razor blade and I am going underneath where that top photo that's flipped up is and that's because it's better to have your cut right below the photo than too high because if you put once you put this down in and feed it through that slot if your slit is too high it's not going to open right if it's too low you can just kind of push the top of the flip flap up over if that makes sense it's hard to explain but basically make sure you're higher than lower or lower than higher so that works perfectly I already did the other side and um and we're good to go so I'm showing you here the bling as well and this is my finished layout I'm going to show you some still shots and details and I want to thank you so much for watching here if you've not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will do so and be sure to hit that notification bell also so you get notified when I post new layouts. I still have lots of Cricut layouts coming up as well as some other projects as well. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. All supplies are linked below and thank you so much for watching.